I knew from early on that I was going to ask her to marry me. Now, I did not know from early on if she was going to say yes. That was <laughs> literally the day that I plan on proposing to her. She comes home and she says, I've had a horrible day at work. I don't know what you have planned for me, but you have this look that you have something up your sleeve and you have something planned. Whatever you're gonna do, just don't do it. It's been a really bad day. So I'm like, it's fine, let's just go get in the car. I went through and I took her out to Centerway Square. We're just listening to the music. We're sitting there just trying to help her not have as bad a day. And uh, I got down on one knee and proposed. And luckily she, she said yes. So we knew from the moment we moved in together before we were even engaged that we were gonna wanna start a family together. But it was something that I had warned Rob about that I had been told pretty much my whole life that getting pregnant was going to be difficult for me. I had been treated as though I had endometriosis since the time I was 12 or 13 years old. He stood by my side the whole time and he was like, if it doesn't happen for us, it doesn't happen, but you were the most important piece for me. After we got married, we went off birth control pretty much right away. and started trying and nothing really happened. So right about the two year mark, we had been told by one of my doctors, they were like, CNY is a local-ish fertility center. It's probably the closest to where we are. When we got our consultation, it was with Dr. Kiltz and that very first phone call, he was so thorough, but he was, he didn't seem clinical. It wasn't like he just focused on the medical parts, but he made us feel like he saw us as humans. I had a panic attack in the car the very first day that we came in here because I was like, I, I don't think I can even go and get my blood work done. And Kate came in and she had this just overwhelming calmness to her. She made me feel welcome. And having her there and just kind of become my person here because especially most of the time for monitoring appointments Rob wasn't able to come so knowing that I had someone here that kind of had my back and was here for me that was a beautiful feeling. To know that Emily was in such good care especially that she felt comfortable with everybody here and that she did have people here like Kate who she trusted that she felt comfortable with it made me feel a lot more comfortable with the process knowing that um, Emily was being taken care of. We unfortunately faced loss multiple times throughout our, our process and I was a ball of emotions and I will never forget that it was Dr. Corley who walked through the door. It wasn't like he went and tried to find a nurse to, to handle it or just left me there. He came in and he sat beside the bed with me and he offered to pray. He talked me through things and he really made sure to let me know that he's like, just because this is how this one ended does not mean that this is how your pro your process ends, how your journey ends. I think that was such a beautiful moment for me. Two weeks later when we found out that, you know, we were pregnant with Oliver, it was, it was a big worry. It would have been our fourth pregnancy and he's our first child that is here with us. So we had a lot of nerves, but we, we kept holding on to the fact that we always said Dr. Corley would be the one that would give us our baby and he was the one who transferred and thankfully here he is and so it's it's not been an easy process but the people here made it easy